This video is to show you how to set up your white label domains for viewing your spaces uh, inside of your portal. So I just logged into a portal account and where you're going to configure your white label domain settings is in your account down here in the bottom left. So I'll click account down here. And you can see we have this new section on the account page right here called white label configuration. Um, and you can see a couple different spots right here. The first is the view space domain. So this is a domain that you can use for viewing spaces. <laughs> I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, but anytime you want to share a tour with a client or whatever, like anytime someone's experiencing your open house spaces, this is the white label domain that you'll use right here. We are working on what we call our metrics page domain, uh, white label settings. And what that is, is that Similar to your metrics pages, we're actually going to help you create public facing metrics pages that you can share with your clients. And so those will also have their own white label domain settings. So for example, for viewing a space, uh, you might use, you know, the domain 360.yourdomain.com. Whereas if you wanted to do a different subdomain for your metrics pages that you share with your clients, you could do something like, you know, metrics. 360metrics.yourdomain.com or something like that. Uh, but you can have two different uh, white label domain options there. Uh, so first things first though, we're gonna do our, our view space domain settings um, and then we'll have our metrics page domain settings coming out soon. So the first thing you're gonna do is decide what domain you want to use. You can either use a, a custom domain that you own um, or you can actually just use a subdomain for your businesses normal um, domain. So what I'll show you right here is we're going to use Google domains uh, for this tutorial, but it's going to be very similar no matter what DNS or domain service you use. Uh, the, the settings are going to be uh, basically the same, just a user interface will be different. So kind of pay attention to the words I use and kind of the step-by-step the -step, uh, what I do here because that might look different on your end, but the words and, and uh, all that should be the same, but we can help um, if we need to. So I'm going to use this openhouse.dev domain that we own here at Open House. I'm going to use that to show you uh, what you can do uh, with your white label domain. So first of all, coming back here, um, I've decided my domain, I'm going to do 360.openhouse.dev. That's going to be my white label domain. Uh, so I'll type that in here, 360. Openhouse.dev. Save. Okay, so you can see that I just uh, changed my status to preparing. And then a little message shows up that says, We're setting things up on our end. Watch for an email with next steps. So after you basically tell us what subdomain or what white label domain you want to use, we have to go and configure some of our settings to basically give your white label domain access to Open House's servers because we don't want just any domain or any URL being able to point to Open House of Server. So uh, we go work our magic on our end. I just refresh the page and what you'll see is the, the status change. So now the status says add DNS record. It says your turn. You need to add a custom record to your DNS with the following information. So I'll show you on Google domains, but what we're looking for is your host name. Um, and in our case, because I'm using a subdomain, the host name in this in this setting right here will be 360. If I wasn't using a subdomain, I would actually just use an asterisk. So basically what this is telling you, just a little DNS education is, it will only route traffic that has the 360 subdomain to open house. If you bought a new domain and you wanted to use that for this, you could do that, but you would need to use an asterisk in this field instead of the, the 360 subdomain. And basically what the asterisk means is everything. So if you buy uh, a domain specifically for this purpose, um, use the asterisk and, and what that will do is every you know bit of traffic that goes to that domain will be sent to you know open house. Um, whereas if you use the subdomain, only uh, traffic that goes to this 360 dot your domain uh, will go to open house. I hope that makes sense. Um, the type of record we're gonna add is called a CNAME record. TTL, that just means time to live. You just need to put 3,600. That's just what you need to put. Um, and then data, this is basically the endpoint that you're gonna point your 
uh, subdomain to for this to work out. So um, I am going to go back to Google domains. And like I said, this will be similar for your hosting or DNS provider. But uh, I'll click on my domain right here. Actually, I'll click manage next to it. And you can see on the left side, um, I have these different things I can do with this uh, openhouse.dev um, domain name. I'm going to click DNS because that's what we need to do. And then you can see uh, your host might be different, but um, basically what you need to do is you need to add a record. So right here when I click DNS, it just let me go to this record, uh, but um, your host might you know, require you to click a button that says add new record. Um, so what I'll do is, like I just mentioned, we're going to have our host name, which in our case is 360, 360. You can see it populates right there, 360.openhouse.dev. The type we said is going to be a C name. The TTL, time to live, is going to be 3600. I'll click that. It's already in there, but you can copy and paste that. And then you need to know what domain name you're going to route this data to or you're going to route the traffic to. And that is what this little pointer is right here. And it looks really random. Just don't worry about it. We promise it'll work. You click that and it'll copy it for you. And then I'll paste it in here. Click save and you should be good to go from there. So next, um, what you'll do is click here once you've completed this step. So I'm going to click, I added the C name record that will update your status to finishing setup. We will just do some final checks to make sure that everything was configured properly and that the uh, traffic is routing correctly. And so let me just pause that and make sure that is working on our end. One sec. And we are back and it looks like everything was configured correctly. So now it says active for us. And let me show you what this looks like in practice now. Um, now that you have this white label configured in your account, um, when I click on spaces, so let me choose a client, I'll do cafe. And then when I click on spaces right here and I go to this space, um, you can't see it because it's a little small, but watch what happens. I'll go to this space and I hope you can see up here that when I clicked on this space from my account, um, it took me to my new white label domain. So you can see 360.openhouse.dev um, and I am at my own new custom domain. I maybe should have used a different one that was an open house related to show you that this will be totally white label, not open house related, but this could have been any domain that I owned. It could have been uh, cheeseburgers.com if I owned that. Um, so 360.openhouse.dev, that is the white label domain that we just set up. Um, and so that works when I click on you know the space here. If I click on a room, it will take me there. But then if you're looking to share links with your clients, um, what you'll do is you'll come over here, click share, and then share using a link. And you can see right here, my new uh, white label domain is inside of this little space. Instead of the openhouse.app dom domain name, we have our white label domain here. I'll click copy link, paste that in a new tab, and you can see it works perfectly. Um, and a couple other things I'll note. So that's just on the space. You know, if you have a client, you want to give them a link to just a specific room, come down to the room, click share using link. And you can see as well in here that it's got my new custom white label domain. Um, the other thing as well is that it will change the setting for you in metrics. So if I go to the metrics page and click cafe, um, if I click on this one right here, it will take me to 360. Anyways, all of these links are updated as well. So once you configure your white label domain right here, um, it will basically replace all of the relevant domains uh, and URLs for open house with whatever custom white label domain name you put in right here. Um, as always, if you have any questions or issues, let us know. Uh, we are usually pretty speedy at helping get through the setup process on our end. So basically when you input this data and you kind of go through the steps and and submit stuff through this page we get notified right away and um we have a pretty quick turnaround so we can get you set up quick and let us know if you need help thanks